MACC says the practice of appointing politicians to head GLCs needs to stop as FGV grapples with a very public mess. Chairman Tunku Abdul Aziz Tunku Ibrahim said in a statement that in every instance, politicians have fallen well below the ethical standards which are expected from those in position of trust. He explains that despite there being some ethical politicians, most just don't have the discipline of a good corporate leader. This is because politicians usually bring their political habits to the job, habits that may clash with the requirements of disciplined corporate leadership based on uncompromising trust. Earlier this week, FGV suspended four company officials, including its CEO Zakaria Ashad, over allegations of irregularities over delayed payments from a client to a subsidiary. IHH Healthcare broke ground for Glen Eagles Shanghai Hospital today, marking its next phase of growth in China. The groundbreaking was carried out with its strategic partner in China, Taikang Insurance Group and Project JV partner Shanghai Hongxin Medical Investment Holding. The 450-bed multi-specialty general hospital in Shanghai New Hongqiao International Medical Centre is set to open in 2020. It is expected to require 1.36 billion renminbi or 852.9 million ringgit of capex. IHH says the hospital is part of an 8 billion renminbi or 5 billion ringgit pipeline of hospital projects, paving the way for Greater China to become its fifth home market after Malaysia, Singapore, Turkey and India. Britain has been thrown into a political turmoil after the snap election called by Prime Minister Theresa May ended in a hung parliament. However, the relationship between Britain and Malaysia will remain unchanged. British High Commissioner to Malaysia Vicky Tridel told Bernama that successive British governments have vested in the relationship with Malaysia and the commitment between the two countries in trade and investment and ties in education are very strong. She told the Newswire the two countries have been friends, allies and partners for a very long time and that things will remain status quo. No single party won an overall parliamentary majority in the snap polls, but May isn't about to give up. The Tory leader has reportedly reached an informal agreement with the Democratic Unionist Party and will seek the Queen's permission to form a government. JF Technology Berhad has been issued an unusual market activity query by Bursa Malaysia today, with the regulator drawing attention to the sharp rise in the company's share price recently. This after its share price surged by over 100% over the past month. Year to date, the stock has leapt four times from the low of 45 cents on January 3rd. It ended today's trading at 1 ringgit 86 cents. The electronics products manufacturer recently returned to the black with a net profit of 1.56 million ringgit in its third quarter ended March 2017. Quarterly revenue grew by almost 40% to 6.1 million ringgit. In response to Bursa's query, JF Technology said it is unaware of the reason behind the recent spike and that there is no corporate developments, rumour, report or any other explanation to account for the trading activity. MAHB handled 8.5% more passengers across its 39 local airports in May compared with the same month last year. That's a jump from 7.3 million passengers to 7.92 million. Meanwhile, its Sabiha Gokchen International Airport in Istanbul, Turkey saw a marginal 0.3% increase in passenger count to 2.69 million from a year ago. KLIA and KLIA2 saw a 12.1% rise in passenger count to 4.79 million, mainly driven by a 15.8% uptake in international flyers. In the Bursa filing, it said 18 airlines registered double-digit growth for international passenger traffic. They include AirAsia X, All Nippon Airways, Melindo Air, Saudi Arabian Airlines, Siaman Airlines and Malaysia Airlines Berhad among others. Meanwhile, the number of domestic passengers was up 3.5% year-on-year. It said the modest growth in domestic passenger movements was mainly contributed by Melindo Air, offsetting the reduction posted by Firefly and Malaysia Airlines. <laughs> 